In the year she would have turned 90, over 350 historic and personal items belonging to Margaret Thatcher are going on sale. Christie's auction house is getting ready to put a number of the ex-Prime Minister's belongings up for grabs. They have had similar auctions in the past, selling items belonging to historical figures, but this is considered to be unchartered territory, as they have never had so many items to sell from a political icon. Many are from her time in office and are expected to fetch high prices, including her red leather prime ministerial dispatch box. Um, the estimate we have on it is three to five thousand pounds, but I, I do think that it will be um, left behind, and certainly judging by the the black dispatch box that we have as part of the online sale, which is already selling for seven times the estimate, I think there'll be a lot of competition for something which really encapsulates the whole legacy of Mrs Thatcher. Numerous prime ministerial pieces are featured, but so too is Thatcher's clothing. This collection includes the iconic tank raincoat worn during a visit to British forces at a NATO training ground in Germany in September 1986. Thatcher's wedding dress and matching hat that she sewed the feather onto are also included. Although fashion may not be the first thing that springs to mind when we think of the ex-Prime Minister, she certainly had her own style, one that is celebrated here. I would say it's 1980s executive dressing. It's the female equivalent of the banker's suit. It's a lot jollier and better colours, but it's still, you know, she's not wearing trousers. She never did. She hated them. She's wearing skirts and tailored coats, really, if you actually analyse it. The auction will be held next week and organisers are expecting a warm welcome for the Iron Lady.